Hey, question. Do you remember the first time you signed on to a computer? Too far back? Well, believe it or not, there are many people in our community who are just getting access to computers and the Internet and everything that goes along with it. And that puts them at a disadvantage, a big one in a way, in many areas. But now there's help for some for the next year and a half, at least, in this pilot program. That's where Comcast, the city of Houston, comes in, along with a nonprofit organization, Sir Jobs, and the Digital Navigators program for 18 months will be on the front lines of helping people with the basics of digital navigation. Joining me this morning to talk about it is Amisha McClure, Comcast Texas Director of External Affairs, and Shannon Boggs, the Director of the Mayor's Office of the City of Houston Complete Communities program. Good morning to both of you. Good it's, morning, it's Cambria. Good, good for to the, see you. Full disclosure, I know both of these ladies, and I enjoy speaking to them. In fact, we will not have enough time to finish our talk, but we're going to do the best we can. <laughs> I love it. Misha, let's talk about this program, the Digital Navigators navigation navigators what's that all about absolutely so Cambrell thank you for having us this morning digital navigators are really tech experts they are going to be placed in the city of Houston's complete communities to really give that one-to-one -one interaction with helping people get the technology skills that they need as well as the adoption information to get connected to the internet at home so how did Comcast decide to be a part of something like this and where was the indication that this was really something that was really needed? So according to a Boston Consulting Group study that was done that was supported by Comcast, they said that that one-to-one -one interaction is what's needed to really take people from awareness of the internet mm -hmm. to adopting that in home. And some of the highlights of that study were they found that one out of every th three people that participated in the study, they were actually able able to get better employment as well as increase their home uh, income and 65 percent of the people actually were more comfortable with utilizing technology and that was based off of the digital navigators that they interacted with. So that brings in the city and Shannon why is the city taking such an interest in this program? We're taking an interest because we know that many of our citizens, our residents, cannot achieve the best quality of life if they do not have access to the internet. Mm -hmm. And we have an infrastructure in this city that is outstanding, but it is an accessibility and affordability issue for a lot of people. There are still pockets where the infrastructure is not great, and we're fixing that with all of our partners um, throughout the city who manage broadband and wireless. But in terms of being able to afford to be on the internet through all kinds of digital devices, laptops and all of that, it's hard. And then once you're on, knowing how to navigate there, how to interact, how to travel the internet is hard. I noticed that I saw Sarah Jobs is involved in this. Mm -hmm. How did they come about? I know that, and you look at the video of people getting computers and, okay, we're just starting to figure this out, and you realize they need some help. And Sarah's one of the, is a nonprofit involved in all of this. Talk about their involvement. So Sir Jobs uh, has been an outstanding partner to the city of Houston in many, many ways. They do workforce development. They do financial literacy and empowerment. They do so many things to help our residents get to the next level in their life. Mm -hmm. And they were the ideal partner to work with us. They've already had a longstanding relationship with the city and Comcast and has been a part of distributing laptop computers to people through the Comcast partnership that they had. So it was just a natural fit. They are also going to be our major partner and um, provider for the free financial counseling services that the city of Houston provides so that folks can learn how to better manage their money and be um, get out of debt, improve their credit scores and all of that for free. Whoa, that's wait, a free city service. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, stop. So <laughs> that's for any city of Houston provides that for anybody. You don't have to be in a certain area of the city. You can find that information. Yes, you can uh, go to um, the uh, City of Houston's website for Complete Communities, uh, HoustonCC.org, and you can get access to our financial empowerment centers in order to get free financial counseling. They are the right partners, Sir Jobs, doing that work to also add and enhance our financial counseling services by bringing the digital navigators on board mm -hmm. and helping people to set up online banking, help them to uh, get connected to um, physicians and others so they can manage their health and do their preventative care online, get kids onto the internet so they can do their schoolwork and access free online tutoring. 
So it, that's amazing. I may move into the city of Houston and take advantage of that, by the way. <laughs> Misha, uh, Comcast putting $1 billion to a national initiative to advance digital equity. Uh, so you, you're no stranger to trying to do what's right for the communities generally. Absolutely. So at Comcast, we've been committed to really bridging that digital divide that's been there for over a decade. And Project Up is our $1 billion commitment to advancing digital equity. And in, locally in the Texas region, we have have committed or we've already invested one million dollars towards that initiative and we do that through the power of partnerships like this one with the city of Houston and Sarah Jobs because we saw like Shannon said it was an affordability barrier for people we knew there was an access barrier people didn't understand how to utilize the technology but now the adoption piece is coming in with the digital navigators they can take them from awareness to learn how to use that technology to talk about the affordable piece because we have our Internet Essentials program where people can get connected to our high-speed, low-cost adoption program for income-constrained families, as well as the adoption piece so we know that they'll feel comfortable getting connected to a device and utilizing the Internet internet in home. And so I understand this is the pilot program. So that doesn't mean it's like locked in. You're spending how much for this and how long? It's going to be a year and a half. What What's the chance of it continuing beyond that? Absolutely. It's a pilot program. We are investing $150,000 towards this pilot program. But this is a way for us to really see what the needs are for the community, and we'll be able to evaluate and take it further. Who's uh, eligible to do this? There's certain communities for the navigator piece I'm talking about. There's certain communities that are... So we're going to have our digital navigators located in our complete communities, four of our complete communities. They'll travel to those physical locations. But all of this is available to all Houston residents. Okay. That is uh, the gift that um, Comcast has provided through this pilot by making sure that anyone who calls up and says they want to access these services can do so. You know, I'm, I, don't want to, this, I don't want to do a Comcast commercial here, but this is just a great idea this partnership that's going on between the city of Houston, a business, and a nonprofit. It doesn't get much better than that. Uh, we're going to put all the information on the website. You want to add something else, or are you good? Well, I, I just wanted to say that that is Mayor Turner's vision. Yeah. The only way we can bring more uh, resources to our most under-resourced and underserved neighborhoods is through private public partnerships. And it's amazing when our corporate partners step up and say, yes, we want to invest in the future of this city by working with the city and nonprofit organizations to do what's in the best interest of the residents. I well, look forward to hearing what the end result is of this pilot program. Hopefully it'll be locked in for quite some time to come. Thank you. Thank Misha, you so Shannon, much. thank you for being here. Good luck thank as you, you continue to do good things for this community.